Hi there. I'm Dr. Noelle Nelson, and it's my pleasure to share a few thoughts with you today, some uplifting, inspiring, and practical tips to help you find greater happiness and success in your life. Today's topic, fantasy fun. You're walking along, kids in tow, trying to keep one of them from running into the street and the other one from jumping up and down in front of you every five seconds, and you see a billboard, come to lovely Hawaii, and the thought flashes across your mind, oh yes, leave COVID, Zoom work meetings and homeschooling behind, dump the whole depressing pandemic mess, leave the spouse, just hop on a plane, and go sit on a sun-drenched beach, drinking pina coladas and having unbelievably sexy lifeguards flirt with me. And the instant you catch yourself thinking that, you start berating yourself. <gasps> How could I think that? How awful of me. I love my children. I must be a terrible parent to think such a thought. Oh, my word. And I'd never cheat on my spouse, leave my work. Oh, bad me. How terrible. Well, no, not really. I mean, you didn't actually go out and dump the kids, desert the spouse and split, did you? Of course not. What your mind just did was provide you with an escape fantasy. That's all. Unfortunately, you didn't permit yourself to enjoy it. You confused thought and feeling with behavior and re reprimanded yourself for your thoughts and feelings as if you were literally going to go out and do that. <laughs> no. You see, behavior is a choice. It may be an impulsive choice, but it's still a choice. Thoughts and feelings, however, come unbidden. We can choose what we do about them, but not whether or not we're going to have them. Use your fantasies to help you. Your fantasies, your daydreams, your dreams all exist to help you live a more expanded life than you can live in the day-to-day -day of the real world. Allowing yourself to indulge in the fantasy, in this example of dumping all responsibility and being pampered and flirted with, to really get into it and feel it would refresh you. And since it's fantasy, and you know you will not choose to act it out, there's no need to feel guilty or berate yourself. Knowing that just because you think something doesn't mean you have to act on it actually frees you up. So, how can you better use your fantasies and daydreams? Well, first of all, recognize they have a positive function in your life. They allow you to either work out or live out in your imagination things you would be extremely reluctant to do in real life. If, for example, you fantasize beating up your, your boss or who knows, heaven forbid, your spouse, you're probably angry at him or her. Well, duh. Okay, so great. Don't shy away from those feelings. Have a full-blown, vigorous fantasy in your mind only, please, where you have at it with your boss or spouse in some wildly imaginative, satisfying way. This allows you to deal with your anger by venting it appropriately. That is to say, in a way that will not hurt anybody. If you vent it, truly thoroughly in your imagined fantasy. You will find it relatively easy after that to drop your anger and go on to problem solving whatever brought up the anger in the first place. Daydream deliberately. Take a 10 minute break during a stressed or harried day to close your eyes, relax. Imagine your favorite vacation spot. Really see and hear and feel all the sights and sounds and let yourself just swim in the emotions of that special place. You will be surprised at how refreshed and happier you feel at the end of those 10 minutes. Stop blaming yourself for your fantasies and daydreams. Accept them for what they are, an expansion of reality, not reality itself, and enjoy. Thank you for listening to Up. And check out my new book, I Survived COVID-19, What Now? Finding Happiness and Success in a Post-COVID World if you'd like more uplifting, inspiring, practical tips and techniques, as well as my website, noelnelson.com, or take a look at my Meet the Amazings Facebook page. Until next time, be well and take care.